Hello, you are welcome to today's class. We'll be looking at New York State Education Department Testing Program, Grade 6 Mathematics Test. This is Release Questions 2024. This will definitely be helpful for those of you in Grade 6 that are preparing to take your test. All right, so let's uh, go straight to the questions. Um, question, all right, this um, start from question number two. There is no question one here. So let's solve. Which expression represents Five more than the product of two and y. Take note of this. Five more than the product of two and y. In math, product means multiplication. So, product of two and y is two times y. More means addition. So, five more means plus five. So the answer is 2 times y, 2y plus 5. So the right option is B. All right, let's go to the next question. Question 3. Which value of B makes the inequality 3B greater than 12 true? To get your answer, you simply divide both sides by 3. 3 year 1, 3 year 1, 3 year 1, 3 into 12 is 4. So B is greater than 4. The right answer is C. Alright, question number 4 says, A coordinate plane can be used to show the distance in units between two locations. The location of Jack's house and his store are listed below. Jack house is located at minus 7 minus 8. That means for Jack's house, x is a minus 7 and y, always mention x before you mention y. So y is minus 8. Now the store is located, the s um, coordinate for the store is minus 7 and then the y here is 4. The question says, what is the distance in unit between Jack's house and the store? Since both points have the same s coordinates, you can see that the s coordinates are the same. This is minus 7 and this is minus 7. So they lie on the same vertical line, that is what it means. The distance between them is the difference in their y coordinate. So, to solve this, the difference in the y coordinate will be, um, let's say, what's the y coordinate? So, from this tall, that's 4. I'm working with just the y coordinate, that's 4 and minus 8. The difference is to subtract. So, 4 minus the y coordinate. For Jack's house, location of Jack's house is minus 8. Okay, so 4 minus times minus is plus. 4 plus 8 is 12. The right answer is C. All right, let's uh, move ahead to the next question. Question 11 says, which number line represent x um, is greater or equal to 3? which number line represent this information. To determine which number line represent this information, we need to analyze the characteristics of the correct representation. Now, the question you should be asking yourself is, this inequality, what does it mean? This inequality means that the graph should start at minus three, okay? So the graph should start at minus 3. All right. 
and extend to the right. That's greater value. So since the inequality, yeah, since x is greater than 3, it means x um, is more than 3. But because it's greater than or equal to, that mean, it means x can also be 3. 3 or greater than 3 or more than 3. So since the inequality includes equal to, so the point at minus 3 should be a closed field circle. The right option will be B. This closed field circle means that minus 3 is inclusive. And then you move to the right. So the right option is B. The next question, question 14. What is the value of the expression? We have 8 squared divided by what? 4 times 2 cubed. We need to use a board math to solve this question. You already know that 8 squared is 8 times 8, which is 64, divided by 4 times 2 cubed means 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8. So 2 cubed is 8. So what do you do? You must do division before multiplication. 64 divided by 4. So let's have it here. Six divided by four is one. Remainder two. Twenty-four divided by four is sixteen. Sixty-four divided by four is sixteen. Times eight will give us our answer. Let's figure out what it will be. Eight times six is forty-eight. Put eight here and move four here. Eight times one eight plus four twelve. The right answer is one to eight, which is option D. Question number five, fifteen says. Ben purchases one whole, one out of four pounds of nuts and puts them into bags. Each bag, bag holds one over eight pound of nuts. He purchases this, each bag holds this. He uses all the nuts to fill each bag completely. How many bags does Ben fill with nuts? The total number of nuts divided by the how much one bag can hold, which is one out of eight. So you change the total, which is one number, one or one out of four to a proper fraction. To do that, you do four times one is four plus one. Five out of four divided by what? One out of eight. Now you use KCF. K is for keep the first fraction, change division to times and flip the next fraction. Eight up, one down, four year one. 0.28 is 2. 5 times 2 is 10. So the right, let me move down for you to see the option properly. The right option is D, which is 10. All right, let's uh, move to the next question. Question 18 says, which expression represent the opposite of the number? So the opposite of the number is represented by option B. All right, let's move to the next question. Question 20 says, a diagram of a cube is shown below, as you can see. What is the volume in cubic inches of the cube? Volume of cube is um, side times side times side, or volume is side cube. So the side here is two whole, one over two. Volume will be 2 over 1 over 2 cube. Okay, which simply means 2 1 out of 2 times 2 1 out of 2 times 2 1 out of 2. Change everything to a proper fraction. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1. 5 out of 2 times 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1. 5 out of 2 times 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1. 5 out of 2. So volume is 5 times 5 is 25, times 5 is 1, 2, 5 divided by 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8. 
So volume is 12 divided by 8, 1, remainder 4, 8, 45 divided by 8, 5, right? 40 remainder 5 out of 8. So the right option is C. All right, the next question here is um, question 22. But I would like this to be your home form. Okay, just attempt question 22 and 23. Solve and drop your answer for me to see. I'm going to start from question 22 in my next class. I hope you enjoyed this class. See you in the next class. Bye.